Smart Card Dock by TreeCode allows you to use your phone and car easily and more safe. This short tutorial explains only a few, but not all available features of this app. Smart Card Dock has an adjustable number of pages and buttons. You can swipe between the pages back and forth. The current location is visible on the top in the middle of the action bar. The current page number is to the left of the location. The buttons serve primarily to launch apps and shortcuts, control media functions, launch voice commands and show widgets, GPS values, time and date. To assign a function to a button, just click and hold it. Or if nothing is assigned yet, click it normally. We now click on the first and still unassigned button. To assign an app to a button, we click on Launch App. And choose, for instance, an internet browser under all installed apps. The browser can now be started by clicking the button. The so-called back button gets visible after launching another app from SmartCard Dock. This button is for returning to SmartCard Dock and has the advantage that clicking it is more easily in car than the return button of the phone. The button can be moved to another position on the screen by clicking and holding it. If wished, this button can be deactivated in the Smart Card Duck settings so that it won't be visible anymore. To assign a shortcut to a button, like a short dial, we click on Launch Shortcut in the selection menu. On Direct Dial and choose the contact we want from the contact list. The chosen contact will be called if the button is clicked. Assigning widgets like weather widgets and so on is a very special feature of Smart Card Dock. We choose Show Widgets in the selection menu for this. Here we assign the Android Power Control widget to a button. The widget is now visible on the button and can also be controlled. This widget, for example, is very nice to use in car since it can enable and disable GPS and Wi-Fi without the need of going to the Android settings. The current velocity, height and driving direction are possible GPS views for the buttons. To assign, for example, the velocity to a button, we click on Show Velocity and choose kilometers per hour or miles per hour. NA means not available. This gets visible if there is no GPS signal available like in the current location. Also, there must be GPS activated in the Android settings to show GPS values in this app. Furthermore, a cockpit view is launched if a button viewing GPS, time or date is clicked. The clicked element, in this case the velocity, gets visible in large in the center of the screen. Height, driving direction, time, and date are visible below. You can click anywhere on the screen to return to the button view. Please select Show Time to show the current time and Show Date to show the current date on a button. The Selection More allows you to add more interesting features to a button. 
A music player running in the background can be controlled by assigning play, pause, song, stop song, next song and previous song. Controlling the volume of the device is possible by assigning volume up and volume down. Switch, mute, unmute, mutes and unmutes the sound of the phone. Speaker on off activates and deactivates the speaker of the phone. The last selection voice command can be used to launch a voice command with a button. Alternative pictures for apps and shortcuts, like a contact image for a short dial, can be assigned to the buttons by selection Change Picture. The label of a button can be changed by Change Label. The selection Exit App can be used to exit the app with a button. It is possible to change the position of the buttons by drag and drop. To do so, please click and hold the label of a button. Move it and drop it on another button. The positions of the two buttons are now swapped. This is far more easy and faster than reassigning these two buttons if the old position of the buttons are not wanted anymore. The number of pages can be set from 1 to 8 pages and the number of buttons for one page can be set from 1 to 16 in the settings of the app. This has the following advantages. Less buttons have more available space, get larger and are easier to click in car. Devices with larger screen can hold more buttons with an appropriate size. We now reduce the page number from 8 to 4 and the button number of the first page from 8 to 2 in the settings. To do so, we click on the menu button. Click on layouts and design, on configure pages and confirm the now visible dialog by clicking OK. We set the pages number to 4 Choose two rows and one column for the button layout of the first page and click OK. Now we click the back button. The app must be restarted now. Please click Yes to confirm this. As you can see, the first page has only two buttons now, or to be precise, one column and two rows. While there were eight pages available before, we have only four now. Page two, three and four. Not only the page and button number can be adjusted individually, even the colors and style of the elements can be changed. For this we need to go in the settings and click on layouts and design. After clicking on colors, we can set the colors for the different elements. By clicking for instance on button color styles, you can change the color style of the buttons. Currently the buttons have a gradient color. We now change it to solid color and define the color of the buttons in the setting below. After returning to the app, we can see the new color styling and the configured color of the buttons. The colors of the other elements, for instance of the text, the border, of the buttons, even the color for drag and drop and many more can be changed in the same way. For the moment we change the colors back to their default.
Smart Card Dock can switch between day and night colors automatically to ensure a better readability at day and not to be blinded at night. Switching between day and night colors is possible by the light sensor of the phone or by time setting. To switch the colors, for example, by light sensor, we go to the settings. Click on layout and design, on color brightness switching and choose by light sensor. The day and night colors can now be changed in the same way like mentioned before. Day colors, night colors. We now cover the phone's light sensor with the hand to simulate nightly lighting conditions. Furthermore, it is even possible to change the brightness at day and night automatically. Please take a look in the settings for this. Another special feature of Smart Card Duck is clicking and swiping by voice. To use this, you have to make sure that voice recognition is installed properly on the device. Please take a look in the Android settings for this. It is also recommended to install an offline voice recognition package in case of lacking mobile internet connection. Swiping down enables the voice control. The button number then gets visible in the upper left corner of the buttons. The buttons can be clicked by speaking out their numbers. Speaking out right swipes to the right page of the current one. Speaking out left swipes to the left page. To switch directly to a certain page, just say page and then the wished page number. To return to the app after it was left by launching another app, just speak home. Swiping up or speaking out finished will cancel the voice control. The voice commands must always be spoken out between the repeating beep sound. If you don't like the sound, you can switch it off in the settings of Smart Card Dock. Let's demonstrate this. First, we swipe down to start the voice control. Right. Left. Page 4. Page 1. 1. Home. Finished. It is recommended to use the car dock mode in car. The app will be started after entering this mode and closed after leaving it. While in this mode, the screen stays active and the home button can be used to return to the app instead to the Android home screen. By default, the car dock mode will be entered if a magnetic contact is established between the phone and the car docking station. But not all docking stations have a magnet. If this is the case, the user can choose between alternative car dock mode entering methods like entering it on power connection, Bluetooth connection or just entering it always when the app is launched manually. To show this, we now want to enter the car dock mode by using a Bluetooth connection with another device. We go in the settings. Click on General Settings, on Enable Car Dock Mode and choose on Bluetooth Connect. The app must be restarted now. Please click on OK. We now connect a Bluetooth device with the phone. Connected. The car dog mode was activated and the app started. If we launch another app, like an internet browser, and click on the home button, Smart Car Dock gets visible again instead of the Android home screen. If we disconnect the Bluetooth device, Power off. 
the app gets closed and the car dock mode gets deactivated. The app offers many more features like German and English language, answering calls automatically, replying to SMS messages automatically by predefined message and much more. Please take a look in the settings to discover all strength of this app.